All right, in this video, we're going to show you guys how to photograph directly from your um, Google Slides. And there is actually a camera function in here that we can use, so we're going to teach you how to do that. Before you get started, you want to go find something to photograph, um, a book, a folder, a notebook, even just a piece of paper. And we want something that's rectangular shaped like a piece of art would be. Um, and then um, you're going to follow the steps in the last two videos to take a picture from the slide. You're going to crop it, edit it, and um, try to successfully create a picture on here. So I'm going to take you step by step through this. Um, so here we go. First thing you want to do is grab the camera. So to get the camera, you're going to go up here to your toolbox. You're going to go to the little square that has the two little triangles in it. it. looks like little mountains. It's called insert image. Drop the insert image menu and go all the way to the bottom and you will find the camera button. Select camera. Now, if you have never used your camera on your Chromebook to take a picture before, it might ask you to allow the camera. Just click yes. So I'm going to select my camera. And hi guys, there's my camera. I want to take a picture of a notebook. So I'm going to use this notebook right here. And the first thing you got to do is you got to kind of center it and figure out which way do I need to move to get the whole notebook in the picture. And I've got my fingers in the bottom here. So I want to try to get my fingers out of the picture as much as possible. And I can edit and crop and I'll show you that in a few minutes sliding it back and forth, trying to fill up the picture plane as much as possible. And we don't want this, remember? We don't want the, um, the funky trapezoid. We want to make sure that we have it straight up and down and even with the picture plane. Now you have two ways to take your picture here. I can snap the picture by hitting the enter button on my Chromebook, so I'll do that one first. Or I can use my mouse and click on the camera button right here and either one will take a picture so i'm going to look at both of my pictures now i see in this first one i have a little bit of my finger in the picture so i'm going to select my second picture that i took here so i'll select it hit insert and boom there it is right on my slide now we got to do some editing so first things first i'm going to move it to the center the next thing I want to do is see the spiral at the top. I want to get rid of that spiral. So to edit, let's say your fingers, the spiral, maybe you got a little bit of your table. Um, to do that, all you want to do is um, double click on the picture. Nope, double click. <laughs> there we go. Double click on the picture. Sorry, I forgot to use my uh, two finger tap instead. Um, double click on the picture and that will create this black outline with these little bars and to um, edit a picture you want to grab the little bar so I want to get rid of this spiral at the top. You'll know you've grabbed the bar when you get the two ended arrow so if I have the four ended arrow that's going to move the whole picture I only want the two ended arrow so I'm going to grab it click and hold and pull it down to get rid of that spiral. There we go pretty happy with the way that looks. Click off it, see how it looks. I can make it bigger now by grabbing the blue boxes on the corner. So I'll make it a little larger. Recenter. Now I would want to work on my color a little bit here. So I want to show you guys how like let's say you got a little shadow in the corner or you know the color isn't coming up quite the way you think it should. Um, you can edit that in this um, application also. So I'm going to go up to Format, click Format, drop down the menu, go to Format Options, and that will bring up this menu right here. Okay. What I want to adjust here is I want to go to Adjustments. So I'm going to drop the Adjustment menu, and that gives me three choices. I can adjust Transparency, which we don't want to do because we don't want to make it transparent. I can adjust the brightness and I can adjust the contrast. So just to show you guys what these buttons do. So let me show you the brightness. I can bring the brightness up. And you see what happens when you bring it up. It literally makes the colors brighter. And sometimes that's really good. And sometimes in this case, because there's those kind of shiny stripes on here, it's making it more reflective. So 
I'm actually going to bring my brightness down and see what happens. Maybe down just a smidge to take out that reflection a little bit. And then contrast. Let's see what contrast does. So if I bring my contrast up, slide it to the right, it makes everything in the picture a little bolder and a little darker. I kind of like the way that looks. That actually pretty much looks like my notebook. Um, but I want to show you what happens if I bring the contrast down, just so you can see. See how it lightens the entire picture? And now you can't really see the definition in the picture as much anymore. So I'm going to bring my contrast up a smidge because that really brought out the colors nicely in my notebook. And I'm pretty happy with the way this looks now. So I think I am done. I've edit, successfully edited my picture.